point to evaluate the definite integral by limits. The integral from 1 to 2 of x squared dx using limits. Notice this looks like the antiderivative symbol, the lower limit of a equal to 1 and upper limit of b equal to 2. Delta x is found by the familiar b minus a over n, which just gives us 1 over n. Because x starts at 1, our first right-hand limit will be 1 plus 1 over n. Our second would be 1 plus 2 over n, or in general 1 plus i over n. So, in order to find the exact area using the definite integral, we would take the limit as the norm of x approaches 0, the summation f of c sub i delta x i goes from 1 to n. Or equivalently, we take the limit as n approaches infinity of, and we replace c with our 1 plus i sub n. So we're going to take the summation of 1 plus i, sub, i over n, and we're putting that into this y equals x squared equation, so that becomes squared. Our delta x is our 1 over n, and i is going from 1 to n. So in order to do this, let's take the 1 over n out in front, and approaches infinity, and let's see if we can make some easier things to work with inside. We can take the summation of 1 plus 2i over n plus i squared over n squared. If we expand the binomial, let's just focus on this for a moment. So we have the summation of 1 plus 2 over n times the summation of i plus 1 over n squared times the summation of i squared. Now we have convenient formulas for each of these. Here, if i goes from 1 to n, we wind up with n as a result. Here we have plus 2 over n. The summation of i is n times n plus 1 all over 2. Plus here we have 1 over n squared times n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. So this becomes n plus n's cancel, n plus 1 plus, let's multiply these together, 2n squared plus 3n plus 1. Let's multiply n times each of those. We get 2n cubed plus 3n squared plus n. Let's multiply. Let's take this divided by 6 times 1 over n squared. If we have 2, 6n cubed over n squared, that gives us n over 3, plus 3 sixth n squared over n, that gives us plus 1 half, n over 6 times 1 over n squared gives us plus 1 over 6n. So we're going to take the limit of this as n approaches infinity. Summation, i goes from 1 to n. And we do have a 1 over n out in front. So we're left with the limit, 1 over n, as n approaches infinity, this gives us n plus n plus n over 3. So that's the summation of 7n over 3. We have 1 plus 1 half, so that's plus 3 halves. Then plus 1 over 6n. i goes from 1 to n. Notice there are no i's in here. So we multiply 1 over n times each of these, and we're left with the limit then approaches infinity of 7 thirds plus 3 over 2 n plus 1 over 6 n squared. Since n is getting very large, this becomes very small and this becomes very small. So we're left with 7 thirds as the final area under the curve of our region.